Hey guys, it is December the 16th today. My name is Jess McDonald and you're watching GameSpot News. Microsoft are making another Xbox One price cut happen, but this time it's for China. The console has been pulled down in price by the equivalent of about 80 US bucks to make it more competitive with the PS4, which is coming to the region in a month. The Xbox One without Kinect retailed for 3,699 yuan, which is about 600 US dollars. And now it's down 500 yuan to the equivalent of 517 US dollars. The Xbox One Plus Kinect is slightly more expensive, down from the equivalent of $694 to $614. US dollars. In China, both models come with at least two free games, although those games are Power Star Golf and Neverwinter Online. So make your own call about the value of that one. Rockstar have finally announced that GTA Online's long-awaited heists are coming. Rockstar Games have described the feature, explaining heists will require tight communication and coordination, with players taking on specified roles at each point to accomplish multiple objectives on the way to each heist's epic finale. The payday-sounding addition will also bring on new gameplay, clothing, vehicles and weapons. If you want to see for yourself, you can check out the full announcement trailer in in all its bazooka-toting, safe-cracking goodness on GameSpot. To no one's great surprise, controversial massacre sim hatred has been pulled from Steam Greenlight by Valve. Valve's marketing director Doug Lombardi told Eurogamer, based on what we've seen on Greenlight, we would not publish hatred on Steam. As such, we'll be taking it down. Champions of gore and tastelessness, Creative Destruction, who are making the game, won't be deterred though. They've said they're overjoyed at the response from supporters and still plan to release in Q2 of next year. Hatred gathered over over 13,000 upvotes on the service and hit number 7 on the top 100 list after only a few hours. As for your question of the day, let me know if you would play Hatred and why or why not. If you're after more news, you can head to GameSpot for stories on Microsoft's rumored game streaming service and the announcement of Sniper Ghost Warrior 3. That is it for me today. I'll be back same time tomorrow with a bunch more news, so I do hope to see you then.